this was a machine or tool that was uh, invented in the 18th century in Scotland. The man is uh, unknown today, but whoever he was, he invented this knowing there was a great need in flax production to speed up the scutching process. That was uh, one of the hardest steps in flax production, is scraping the flax to get all of this chaff or boon out of the hank of flax after you've broken it. Some of the farms in Pennsylvania were so prosperous that they had a lot of flax and they were able to hire people to process their flax. There were uh, German weavers who would do all their linens. So itinerant farmers would make these and bring them around in the wagons to process their flax. Also some of the farmers made their own scutching wheels and kept them at the farm. We came across these at uh, Henry Mercer's museum looking for different processes that people use in Pennsylvania to, to make flax. And he had saved a number of scutching wheels knowing that they were fast disappearing. But this is not something that you keep in the barn if it was not a functional machine or tool. This would be thrown out or uh, recycled for something more modern. So when we started collecting flax equipment, we, we found uh, one scutching wheel and we found another just the blade part, but everything else was gone. But Mercer had written down exactly what this was used for in his history. So this was a great step in uh, following the process from a medieval production of flax processing up into the 18th century and, and beyond. Then we made this one, and it was designed after one of an 18th century wheel that Mercer had. And you can see how it works. This wheel is suspended on uh, an iron rod, and it has a, a pedal. So you push down on this thing, and it makes a spin. And of course it has a bed that keeps everything suspended. And this is the part that's similar to the old board where you would just take the knife and hit the flax along the board. And this is adjustable depending on how much flax that you have at, at one time. So you get the wheel going. Lay the flax in there. And you can see the chaff or the boon coming off the flax. What happens though when you mechanize an old-fashioned tool is you lose some of the, the fine tuning. And what I would do when I chopped on the flax board, I'd turn the blade slightly. And if there was a clump of, of chaff or boon, I could pick away at that. I could get a slower stroke or a faster stroke. But what happens with a scutching wheel, it's all the same speed. So you lose a lot of that uh, fine tuning. But it's, it does it so quickly that it sort of makes up for the, for the loss. You have to balance on one foot to do this. You can see all that boon and chaff coming off. This also straightens and loosens the fibers. So when this goes on to the combing phase, which is the next phase of processing flax, these fibers will be a lot smoother and finer, and the combing will be a lot easier. This is a very important step in flax production, because you're lining up all the fibers, and you want them to be as, as easily combed as possible. Then when you come to the spinning, you won't have all these clumps in the flax. It's very easy to fall into this if you lose your balance. But safety was not a concern in the older days for processing flax. 
They wanted a machine that could just do the job. You can see how the flax is getting nice and fluffy as I do this. So this is ready for combing. And my scutching is done. 